Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starko Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. If you are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code the Starko to get a free starter pack. To do so, it is pretty simple guys. You go in the settings, use a promo code, then you enter the code the Starko, S-T-A-R-K-O, you press OK and you will receive your free starter pack and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, apparently I have to claim my dailies on the test server here so guys today we're gonna be talking about Bordwin I uh, I was talking to one well, of my guildmates yesterday and uh, we kind of realized I forgot to actually do a character spotlight about this character so today uh, we're gonna go through uh, Bordwin guys and we're gonna talk about the best team for him in the arena and the best team in him for raid we're gonna go through that and well, obviously, I'm going to show the gameplay and we're going to show how to actually build them and play them properly. But before we get into that, guys, if you enjoy the content on this channel, I want to get to gain access to all the best Dragon Champion content on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check the bell so you get notified when the, the content is actually released. And also, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video as it helps support the, the channel, help the channel grow, and makes me very happy. So uh, let's jump right away, guys, into uh, the heroes here. So uh, we have seven heroes that are alighted here, guys. So uh, we're going to talk about the teams because those seven heroes will cover both team going to be using uh Bordwin M. The first thing, the most important thing in um with Bordwin is that you need Zappy. Zappy and Bordwin synergy is so huge, is so crazy that you will need to always pair them together so it does not really matter uh with who you're gonna put them if you don't put them together uh they're gonna suck well maybe not suck but they're not gonna be as useful so to be very useful you need to pair them together and you need to make sure that your board win is faster than zeppi so you can actually apply your armor decrease aoe armor decrease on the targets before zeppi goes crazy with her aoe those are the little tricks with boardwin guys now the teams you want to use him uh, in the arena you want to go uh, if you play in the arena with that you want to go solius lead because solius is the only lead that works for uh, zeppi and total uh, you can go with darian lead but yeah that's not very great <laughs> so solius lead with Zeppi, Bordwin, Titania, and Eric Shellbreaker. That is the arena team. That is the battleground team if you want to really uh, get them in the meta battleground team. And then the raid team, the DPS team for them is going to be Solius lead with Zeppi, Tobol, Bordwin, and Tool. Now, obviously, when uh, Baldur or whatever his name is get released and we actually finally get a leadership for the dwarves. That is going to be a totally different story. Teams are going to be changing uh, differently, but for now, this is what it is, guys. So this, those are the two teams: PVP, Salius, Zeppi, Bordwin, Titania, and Eric. PVE, Salius, Tool, Bordwin, Tool, and Zeppi. So hopefully, uh, those teams make sense to you. Now we're going to be jumping into Bordwin, guys. I'm going to talk about how to build him, how to play him, which skills to actually get to level 7 and all that shit. So let's get started with uh, the skills here, guys, because the skills are very, very important. I'm going to start with the passive from the right. Harmor Ace, passive ability. Increase the penetration for 2% for every 1% of his charge. So the more charge he has, the more penetration he does. Penetration means that you're going to be ignoring the armor of the opponent. Uh, the higher is your penetration, the more armor you ignore, pretty much. If his charge is less than 40% at the start of turn, restore 25% charge. So he will always be at 25% charge when he gets to attack. So 25% charge will give him um 50 penetration so he's guaranteed to have 50 percent penetration every time he's attacked which is crazy but it's not only that is that zappy received the same buff so zappy will get so much damage because of that penetration that those two needs to be together now lose 10 percent charge up and taking damage apply hurt power to Baldur at the start of the battle now we don't have Baldur yet so uh, we don't actually care about that you can see here uh, if you drop that to level six 
you you lose 0.5 percent charge and that is a lot of penetration uh yeah 0.5 percent penetration which is a lot of penetration you actually lose so this ability is probably going to be the most important one to actually get to level seven uh level six to at least get the zappy uh synergy and then level seven very 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 important guys now if we go with the third skill o o oj generator i don't know how to say that in english guys so i'm gonna say it in french <laughs> uh restore 20 percent charge to zappy and himself again the synergy with zappy and an additional five percent charge for each armor a decrease on enemies if Bartwin charge has reached 100%. Zeppi and he receive damage increase and critical chance increase for two turns, which is pretty damn good. But that means the level 7 ability is actually not that important, guys. Because it will only give them damage increase and you're not really gonna you know it's gonna take a while to actually reach the 100 percent charge so uh, in my opinion guys level uh six or level five is totally fine with this one i'll go with level six because i think uh it's better because you get the critical chance increase for two turns but definitely this ability at level five is still going to be awesome because you still get the critical chance uh for zappy and himself if they are uh um over 100 percent charge see if they have reached 100 percent charge so for one turn it's good enough so my guess here will be level five ability will be good enough for me uh, obviously if you can get it to level seven get it to level seven but level five is going to be definitely good then we have the second skill trimmers deal 340 percent physical physical damage to all enemies consume 25 percent charge for every five percent charge consume inflict and armor decrease and damage decrease to a random target for two turns is guaranteed to have 25 percent charge so is guaranteed to apply at least five targets with armor decrease and a damage decrease if you have a potency high enough on him which is potency is going to be very important as we're going to talk later on but this skill is very 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 important now if you don't get this skill to level six, seven uh, you lose the uh, damage decrease for two turns so you're going to be taking more damage if you don't apply that so ability level seven here is going to be very very important if you cannot get it to level uh, seven level six is mandatory to have guaranteed to inch to uh, uh increase the uh, effect because if you get that down uh it's a 80 percent chance to inflict that effect so 80 percent chance to uh, to affect targets with the armor decrease i know it's wording weird but you lose 20 percent here so it's not guaranteed anymore so i do believe that this ability is a must have to level six if you can't get it to level seven it's probably the second most important ability to get it to the level seven on this character and then you have the basic ability drilling blow deal 350 percent physical damage to an enemy consume 20 percent charge for one percent charge consume gain a five percent chance to remove uh two random debuff from an enemy so the higher you charge he is uh the more uh uh, the higher the chance are that you are going to be removing buff uh, and uh, pretty much with the guarantee to get 25 percent charge from the passive ability at the start that means you're gonna have 20 percent chance uh, well 20 percent charge is gonna apply so you take the 20 percent multiply by five percent which gives you 100 percent chance to remove uh, two debuff from enemy and uh, this ability is going to be very important to get to level seven because if you get it to level six well um you only remove one buff so you want to remove two buff as much as possible so level seven is going to be very important but not as important as the other two skills we talked so the priority for level seven ability guys is going to be passive ability number one uh tremor second ability number two and basic ability number three this is going to be my priority this skill does not need to be up to um to level seven level six is totally fine even level five is fine for this ability but the other three ability needs to be to level seven to optimize this character now how do you play this characters this characters is very very simple to play guys you're going to be using the third skill on cooldown you're going to be using the second skills before you use zappy aoe so every time you are ready for zappy aoe you need to make sure you use that skill to apply that armor decrease first and then 
you're gonna be using the basic ability. Um, do you have two ways to use that basic ability? Either when you have nothing else to use, or if you have to remove a, a certain buff, like uh, immunity, for example, buff immunity, very great buff to remove if you can, or stuff like that, a talent or anything. If you have something specific yet, you need to remove to be able to progress through the fight, you'll be using that. Otherwise, you're gonna go with the other skills in the priority that they needs to be done. And that is pretty much how to play this character, guys. Now, next, if we talk about the runes and stats here, guys, so let's jump in here. So runes, you wanna, my recommendation is four speed and two uh, potency. You need this guy to be as fast as possible, but you, you also need this guy to have a lot of potency so you're gonna need a lot of su uh, sub stats of potency guys and you're gonna need a potency artifact without a single doubt i know we're not talking about artifact yet but uh, you're gonna need potency artifact without a single doubt so you're gonna need ice speed because you need this guy to attack before zappy very 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 important even if he gets uh slow you still need to be you still need him to be faster than zappy as much as possible so speed on this guy is going to be very 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 important and after that as a secondary stats you want to go get uh, as much potency as possible and then critical chance as much as possible so if we actually look at the uh, sub stats here you can see speed critical chance potency here main stat speed with some potency here you can see potency and speed we're gonna have critical chance primary with a lot of potency and speed here speed potency so you can see the pattern here here main stat potency with speed and critical chance so you can see the pattern guys as much speed and potency as possible you want to go with four speed runes and two potency runes so you can get an extra 10 percent speed and an extra 15 percent potency and if we look at with those very well out uh that's what well uh <laughs> board win will actually look like you see 35 percent critical chance we have a 254 speed and we have 129 percent potency that's now what do you want to be uh aiming for as a normal player um, a critical chance everybody should be able to reach that 35 percent but for the speed and potency my recommendation will be around 225 speed uh, minimum and 100 percent potency that will be my recommendation obviously on the test server we can buy runes as much as we want because we have a lot of gold so we are able to bring to build the dream stats so those stats actually give you an idea of what you want to add towards eventually if you really want to make a meta of uh, this guy uh, but other than that 225 speed 100 percent potency that will do the job an artifact any artifact with potency guys so you can actually get as much potency as possible uh i will recommend at least four star artifact to get 18 percent potency see if we have 18 percent potency that will definitely be good enough we will still be at the hey, 111 percent potency which will be good enough now if you actually uh drop that at nine percent potency for three star artifact still give me a hundred percent potency with very very solid runes so uh it still does the job but but my recommendation is at least a four star artifact you can go with the gray artifact guys uh, like this one for example uh, is actually a perfect artifact for that this one this is perfect you get potency and hp uh, which is actually pretty solid get this artifact to four stars is going to be good you can actually get get this artifact for 50 battleground currency uh, multiple time a day usually so it's actually easy to build that artifact to four star so this is uh this is how to build this guy so <laughs> to answer your question guys and how to build this guy next we're going to actually showcase him in his arena team we're actually going to be f uh facing uh let's try this team oh man eric shellbreaker that might not be possible because of eric here but let's try it out let's see how they fare i uh, see that's the team the other team has actually what 10,000 power on me nine eight thousand power power on me so this should actually beat me but that will give you guys a little idea on how this team can actually perform so we're gonna just set that on little play you guys are gonna see it but uh yeah this is a very very solid pvp team now the advantage that the half pig has guys is pretty simple 
half pig as Goram as a league. Goram is amazing league for the half pigs that gives them a huge, huge, huge advantage. But still, Dwarves, when we get a leadership for them, that's just going to make them so much stronger, which is going to be awesome. Even though they're going to have armor uh, increase and all that shit, we're still going to be able to apply some great damage. Uh, see, we remove pretty much all the shield. They do have an advantage on us, depending if we can actually get a good heal here. That'll be great. Uh, let's see if we can get it in time. We actually got it in time, so it's actually pretty awesome. So we're actually taking the lead here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we, we're pretty much kicking ass. So uh, let's see if we can actually finish that. Uh, that might actually be impressive here. I'm actually impressed with what we're actually doing here. Um, and this we, There we go, man. It's just awesome. See, we wrecked this team. This team was way higher power level than us. The other team had the Eric Shellbreaker too. So, uh, yeah. This is how powerful this team is going to be, guys. If you can build this team up, try it out. It's just, <laughs> it is a very, very solid team. And, uh, you know, with all those half ping and all those dwarf team, uh, it's actually better than those um, hold the meta team. We can actually showcase it real fast here. That's still a 30,000 power, uh, you know, 30,000 power uh while wow, buff we're gonna be facing in a see it's just nothing gonna matter it's just gonna be dead in a matter of seconds that's just to show you guys how powerful this team here watch them make me lie that'll be funny but no usually they should not be making me lie here so here we go let's get that started it's just getting that aoe going and then it's uh it's over pretty much. We get the armor decrease apply. Zappy is gonna go and wreck shit unless we get. Oh, yeah, we have buff immunity, so we can never get affected by debuff here. So we just need Zappy to go next, and she's gonna wreck shit up pretty much. There we go. See the damage she did? Auto uh, buff dodge this one, so that was not optimal. But you, you definitely can see the kind of damage she can actually do which is uh, a lot of damage. And then this guy just go and uh, wreck shit up too. So you can see this team didn't even have a chance against my team. And that's a, you know, that's a whole uh, meta team. It's not up to date, but you can see buff does not matter against them because they're gonna have the buff immunity with Eric and they're just gonna wreck shit up. Okay, guys, next we're going to be jumping into tier 9 raid. Uh, we're actually going to be attempting uh, to see what kind of damage we can actually do against Solius and what kind of damage we can actually do against Mega Wheel. So we're going to set the team here, uh, the four dwarves with the Solius lead. Solius lead is the best lead for the dwarves, sadly. Dwarves, yes, are uh, actually order guys, which is why the Solius lead actually work with them. I have no idea if it's actually going to be working here at uh, this time. I've never tried them against Solius yet uh, so that's actually going to be very interesting to see if we can get the big skill out before we actually get the blind for Solius that's that's kind of what's going to be important here to actually see and I'm not actually totally confident we're going to be able to do that but the advantage here with this team is that a lot of damage comes from AoE so even if we uh, don't get to focus on Solus, we're still going to be smashing him really hard which is uh, pretty awesome. And you can see the side people actually die pretty easy. Next, we're actually going to get hit by uh, the big blind here from Solius. So uh, that's definitely going to suck. But we're going to try to remove the talent and do some damage here. Uh, now, not much damage we can do. But we save uh, those third skill. Well, at least one of the third skill here um, for that purples. So here, we're just going to drop a little healing just to make sure that uh, we stay relevant. And uh, we're going to go back to... Uh, the fight here, we're gonna target Solius again. And uh, we're gonna get uh, going again here. So here we cannot get critical hit. Critical chance reduction is always awesome. We're doing some extra damage here. Uh, it's not the best damage, but it does the job. Remove some buff, always useful. Yeah, now we might actually lose our uh, Solius because he took a massive hit. Nope, he's gonna be able to heal, which is great. So we're actually doing pretty uh some decent damage better than i actually expected solius actually uh was able to uh not get killed that was actually pretty interesting uh not get blind i mean <clears throat> sorry about that guys 
Uh, okay, so let's get back to uh, the mission here. Somebody's dead. Somebody else dead. Uh, we don't matter with those. Next, we're going to be jumping with the Zeppi here. Big AoE. And that was actually pretty damn great here. More damage. And then we're going to be able to, uh, until we, we die, to do a little bit of extra damage here. Which is definitely not going to be that much. Because we are almost uh, over here. Almost dead, I mean. Somebody is going to die in a sec here. This one's actually not that bad. So we can actually do that. 41,000 crits to finish. So 8% on solid is actually pretty solid. Obviously, it's not a solo, but it's still 571,000 uh, damage, which is actually pretty damn great. So we're going to reset this right, guys. We're going to be jumping into uh, phase two. Uh, so let's go and control cancel raid cancel raid and start a new raid and then we're going to go against a mega wheel and showcase how they do against mega wheel that's going to be the next one usually if we can score over 500,000 against mega wheel, i'm pretty happy now will this team be able to do so i have no idea uh, today i know that in the last video i cover a dwarf which was tobal we were actually able to get a good run so uh, we're gonna see the the mission is to make sure that um this one is dead because if kara gets to apply that aoe days that is very very bad so we're gonna focus uh, all the single target attack we have we're gonna throw that on the kira now we're not gonna be able to use the second skill here that's gonna hurt my damage a lot sadly Okay, this one is dead. This one I got no shield. This one is back. Jeez. That's that's back pretty fast. Uh <laughs> now we're not gonna be able to clear her out. Uh, but we're gonna be close. We're gonna be close. She is probably gonna do that days, that AoE days, which is gonna suck. It's it is gonna suck. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Only Zappy got hit by the days, which is the one target we don't want to get hit by the days but still uh that shall be fine it shall be removed with uh within a couple turn so it shouldn't be that bad okay so some decent ability here i guess here we can kill this one then we can actually go back to work on this one now now, uh, Solace is about to die, obviously. Nothing we can do about that. Now, all we can do here is actually try to do as much damage as possible. Uh, it's actually not optimal, but we're going to be doing, uh, you know, some decent damage still. You know, about 7% damage is actually not that bad. Against uh, Miguel, it's actually pretty solid because he gets to attack us uh, a lot. So uh, if we can get 7% damage, I'm actually pretty happy about that. 7.5% damage, 5.50, uh, yeah, 7.5% damage. We got 558,000 damage. Uh, I think this thing will actually do a little bit better if we have a good lead for them. Sadly, they currently have no lead, so still uh, pretty damn solid damage. And you saw the damage here. Zappy literally killed it uh, because of you know the synergy with uh Bordwin why wow, I'm having a lot of trouble with his name uh, those names are <laughs> not used to them yet but you can see the power of this team is definitely uh, dwarfs are going to be awesome both PvE and PvP sadly they are missing for raids they're missing that turn meter reduction uh or that turn meter increase which really hurts them against that but raw damage they are definitely one of the strongest team and Bordwin uh, with this kit actually help the uh, the whole all every single dwarf to actually do more damage which is actually very 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 useful anyway that is pretty much all the content we had uh for Bordwin guys uh let me know what you think about this guy i know that i use him in battleground in the half big uh half dwarf team which is goram lead with zeppi Bordwin. um Wow, what are the two, the two first uh, half big that were released? I used them with those, so I put those five together, and my uh, my battleground team is actually kicking ass. Most people just cannot get through that team, uh, just because they they don't plan for it and they just get oh. I got screwed pretty much that's usually how it works so i do love zappy and Bordwin together i think they are uh an amazing plug and play drill if you ask me you saw it in the arena guys they were just both of them together and they were able to wreck pretty much anything in the arena 
which I think it's a huge uh, advantage in my personal opinion. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much what I, all we had for this video. So again, let me know what you think about um, Boardwin in the comment section, guys, or just talk to me directly on my Discord server. As always, guys, you all keep enjoying playing Dragon Champion, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.